Today I'm going to be repairing a GoPro Hero 4. The top button and the side button do not work. During a wreck, the centrifugal force of the GoPro tumbling messed up the internal components, and I'll show you what they look like here in a second. But without the top button and the side button, you can't record video and you can't connect it to a phone to see what you're recording. So the GoPro is effectively useless and needs to be repaired. So let's open it up and bring it back to a working order. I'm going to slide the battery out of the bottom and then the faceplate pops off of the front housing. There's a few little clasps and adhesive holding it down to the main frame. Lift it up and set it off to the side and remove the button as well. It's just sitting on top of the little mechanism. There are four screws holding the internals into the frame. Remove the SD card as well and then you can slide the internals out of the back housing. There are two cables along the left side so be very gentle when you're pulling it apart. One is for the power, the bottom one, and then the top one is what controls the shutter button and the settings button on the side. You can see that the connector that connects the ribbon cable to the motherboard is just ripped completely off the board. And this is what happened when the GoPro was taking a tumble. So let's swap out this main board. There's one screw on the back, two screws on the front that we're going to remove. And then we're going to disconnect the power button and LCD ribbon from the back of the motherboard. Slide that out a little slot. Then there are four screws on the back of the sensor and the little Lego light connection that holds it to the motherboard. Remove that and then the front lens will just pop off from the motherboard. You can see here that I have two broken GoPros, the number three and the number seven. I've labeled them myself and the top latch is broken from the number three GoPro. So we're just gonna swap the motherboards, take the motherboard from the number seven GoPro and put it into the housing from GoPro number three. Going to remove the broken latch from the ribbon cable here. Then I can plug the power into the working motherboard and plug the ribbon cable into the working latch on the good motherboard that's not damaged. Lock it into place with a little latch and then stick the black tape on top so it doesn't come loose again. And then slide the lens into the motherboard. Now this is good information to have because if you have two broken GoPros you can Frankenstein them together into one working one or you can buy broken GoPros locally off your local Craigslist or eBay and splice them together and make a little bit of cash. I'm going to take the sensor, put those four screws into place and then use the Lego connection to get it back on the motherboard. There are two screws on the front of the housing and one screw on the rear. You can also buy replacement LCDs and lenses. Basically everything on this GoPro camera is modular, which is very, very convenient for repair guys like myself. I'm gonna plug in the LCD ribbon cable into the back of the motherboard and latch it down. Make sure to put that tape into place as well because these GoPros are dropped fairly regularly and you don't want that to come loose. Once it's down to the housing, we can take the battery and plug it back into place. Turn the GoPro on. And it looks like the shutter button is reacting. I'm going to put an SD card into the side and double check. And it looks like that solved our problem. That broken connector on the old motherboard was the issue. It was not receiving signal from the top and side buttons. But now that we've swapped the motherboard from the GoPro number 7 into the GoPro number 3 housing, everything is working. Just for reference, the GoPro number 7 was not working either. It had problems with the power transfer from the battery to the motherboard, but that was part of the housing, and now we have a working GoPro, so it's worth it. Make sure that power button is situated in the correct spot so it lines up with the housing, and then latch the front faceplate into place. I will link whatever replacement parts that I can find down in the video description right below this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and as always, thanks a ton for watching. All of the behind the scenes stuff can be found on my Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm most active on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching.